there's a heaviness in this community. We've talked to people all day who have been following this case after learning that that growler jet out of Whidbey Island crashed in a dense forest area and still they're seeking answers. Aerial search crews found the crash site of an EA 18 G growler jet that went down east of Mount Rainier last week. I was super surprised. I didn't think that they would be going down or anything like that around here because they practice so much. The Navy has identified the victims as Lieutenant Commander Lindsay Evans and Lieutenant Serena Wildman, both 31 years old and from California. It's a shock to the Oak Harbor community that has strong ties to Naval Air Station Whidbey Island. Probably keeps it going. It definitely provides a lot of jobs for people and it, it's unfortunate. Evans was a Naval Flight Officer and part of the historic all-female Super Bowl flyover in 2023 to celebrate women in the Navy. Here she is preparing for that big moment and meeting kids at a community event. Wildman was a Naval Aviator. They had recently returned from a nine-month deployment on the Red Sea with the Electronic Attack Squadron 130, or the Zappers. In a statement, a spokesperson with the NAS declined an interview, adding that the squadron and their wing are focused on supporting one another at this time. Former Naval Flight Officer Bob Eccles responds to the search and rescue mission, changing to a recovery operation. When you hear that the the aviators are um, are lost, you know, it's a it's a recovery effort now. Um, there's there's a there's some sense of relief in that you know. Um, but it, 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 it just confirms um, what you probably don't want to hear. And in a statement, the women's colleagues go on to describe them as role models, trailblazers, and people who influenced others on the flight deck and beyond. You can read the full statement. We've posted it to our website, comonews.com. Reporting on Whidbey Island, Jackie Kent, Como News.